Hey, welcome to my game, Strawberry Fields. Little duty and fuck strawberries. Yep. And then, uh... Yeah, it's basically a big maze. To find your way around. Level one. Here's a bit of a how it was made. Just gonna reset this. As you can see here's the actual gameplay, and here's this showing how much uh, video screen space there actually is on a Game Boy. It only goes up to 32 tiles, and then here are all the uh, here's the video RAM. Here's all the tiles that actually can be stored. Uh, in the screen and up here this is all the background see there's a uh, enter so here you see this the map on the screen this little blue thing around here is just a map of the screen and nothing else is loaded in memory and then you got all the character sprites and this is all the writing takes up half the graphics almost half about third to half of all the graphics that can be put on in screen at any time so when I move around, I had to also figure out how to get this player when you're on the map edges to to move, but the camera to follow him when he's he has uh, when he's in intermediate. And as you can see here, uh, as I move around, the map is getting redrawn. So you have to work with sub map to do that. Collision detection was a real challenge um, because, as you see, the the tiles are all changing, so it has to keep track of all the coordinates uh, where everything is. And then when I come back, you'll notice the strawberry is gone. Uh, that was a real challenge because I have to keep track of all the strawberries where they are in order to get rid of, make sure I redraw them as blank and I don't get them again. So. And then I had to work with the window layer here to get all this. It was, uh, it was challenging, to say the least, to make this game. But I'm glad it's over. And for some reason, I don't know what it is, but I cannot find this. It has something to do with the sub draw redrawing uh, sub map function. So I have to take it apart at an assembly level to figure out why it's not printing properly. And there you have it. Uh, just a bit of a making of in my game. Just give you a peek, sneak peek at my code uh, using VS Code. Um, I didn't do probably the most perfect job, but I think I finished off at about 1500 lines of code. Uh, just like I say, getting all these things working was a real challenge. And uh, you notice my game does not have any music. I'm really sorry. I do know how music works. I can put music on, this, on the game. But this game uses all the memory in the Game Boy as it is without music. And in order to put more music in it, I have to learn how to do memory banking. And that's a whole other ball game nightmare. So I'm going to do that in my next game if I decide to program another game with C in C using the Game Boy Development Kit. This is a theme music uh, you would have heard had I had more Game Boy memory.